from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Stormy Daniels is suing President Trump for defamation of character. And I'm thinking, how do you defame a porn star? What do you do, accuse her of charging too much? Up in Vancouver, British Columbia, the price of gas is approaching $8 a gallon. Yikes! You know, if that price makes it to the States, I might have to retire early just because I can't afford the daily commute to work. New research shows young people who become sleep-deprived by using the internet into the small hours are much more likely to become mentally ill in later life. Lack of sleep may help explain the puzzling increase in mental illness among young people in recent decades. And regularly staying up late to surf the internet and chat on social networking sites could be one reason young people are sleeping less, according to the research. The study of about 20,000 young people found that those who slept fewer than five hours a night were three times more likely to become psychologically distressed, which also explains the content of 86% of all late-night Twitter posts. Russia's anti-corruption czar says the cost of the average bribe in Russia has jumped 75%. Okay, how would he know? I mean, unless somebody bribed him. At which point, you probably shouldn't be the anti-corruption czar. President Trump's long-haired and seemingly eccentric former personal physician based in New York now admits that Trump dictated the letter that he wrote on his stationery saying Trump would be the healthiest president ever. But you signed that, Doc, on your official medical stationery. Man, hope you, uh, hope you don't miss your medical license there, buddy. The Gibson Guitar Company has filed for bankruptcy. They simply could never find a way to financially compete with air guitars. Whether you're a celebrity who spends a lot of time giving autographs or just a busy business person who doesn't have time to sign mountains of documents, you can now own your very own state-of-the-art signing machine, and it'll sign all those papers for you. Swiss watchmaker Jacques Droz unveiled its impressive signing machine last month at the Basel World Watch Show after reportedly working on it for the last four years. It showcases the company's mechanical clockwork technology, only instead of doing it by accurately telling time, it replicates your signature to perfection. It's a wee bit expensive at $365,000. Or you could spend 10 bucks and get your signature on a rubber stamp with an ink pad. Don't overcook your French fries or your toast. A study measured the amount of acrylamide – it's a cancer-causing toxin in roasted potatoes, fries, and toast prepared in the home. The FSA's chief scientific advisor said the new research showed the need for roast potatoes and fries to be cooked to only a light golden color and that bread should be toasted to the lightest color acceptable. In fact, rather than using a toaster for your bread, you might consider boiling it. Bill Gates says that President Trump offered him a job as White House science advisor. Apparently, Bill Nye the science guy was busy. Stick around, there's more weird news to come. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You can mail a real, personalized greeting card without leaving the house or going out to buy stamps. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards on the website or create one of your own, completely from scratch, using your own photos and message. You can even use your own handwriting and signature if you wish. You create it all digitally, on the website, before it goes to the post office to get mailed. For an extra special touch, you can add a gift to the card like a stuffed animal, bakery item, or candy. Try it now absolutely free, just in time for Mother's Day. Visit sendoutcards.com slash weird. Remember the slash weird part. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. Ashley Judd is suing disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, alleging defamation, sexual harassment, and an effort to damage her career. Although I am more inclined to think that I mean, after seeing her tampon rant at the Women's March, her overreaction to an airport worker calling her sweetheart, and saying Trump's presidency is worse than the rape she experienced as a child, that she doesn't need any help in damaging her career. She does that well enough all on her own. Tanya Harding did decently in the first night of Dancing with the Stars Athlete Edition. Only three of her competitors have suffered knee injuries so far. Bonnie Raitt has canceled her upcoming concert tour with James Taylor due to health issues. Apparently, she's sick of James Taylor. It's no secret Americans are drinking less soda. Well, now that trend is starting to take its toll on the restaurant industry. 
A recent report by the NPD Group found that over the past five years, Americans ordered 4 percent fewer beverages at restaurants, a whopping 2 billion fewer servings. Well, you know, if Pepsi wants to start sending me a few free cans on a daily basis, I'd be happy to try and pick up the slack on that. A head teachers' union in the UK recently reported that students have become so accustomed to using digital devices they can no longer tell time using traditional analog clocks with hands and faces. So schools are being forced to replace them. According to Malcolm Trobe, Deputy General Secretary at the Association of School and College Leaders, children and young teens aren't as good at reading an old-fashioned clock as previous ones. Because phones, tablets, and computers play such a huge role in their lives, they are constantly exposed to time in a digital format. So seeing the time displayed in analog in examination halls can be a cause of unnecessary stress for children. For this reason, some schools are removing analog clocks and replacing them with digital ones. Or you could take a half hour to teach them, because isn't that what teachers do? Tom Cruise jumped from a plane 106 times for a stunt for the latest Mission Impossible film, not including the five times United dragged him off. A nationwide survey by the health insurer Cigna found that Americans are a lonely bunch of people, with nearly 50 percent of respondents reporting that they feel alone or left out, always or sometimes. Even more surprising, the young, not the elderly, were the most lonely. And honestly, you know, I've met quite a few of today's young people, and I really can't blame anybody for not wanting to spend time with them. According to a recent study, men have to work harder deciphering what women are saying because they use the auditory part of the brain that processes music, not human voices. It's not the pitch of the woman's voice, but rather the vibration and number of sound waves that cause the problem. At least I think that's what my wife told me. You know, honestly, I wasn't really listening. There is a new Amazon Echo coming out designed just for kids. It's to help them learn at an early age that people don't always understand what you're saying. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like scary true stories, check out my other podcast at WeirdDarkness.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Moyler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!